they quite easily united. It might be uh, not true because there's so much division within black people in America. But the only reason they divide is because the corporate empire spends billions of dollars keeping them divided because they are potentially dangerous. Mr. Cook, do you attack Jesse Jackson? Do you attack the late Mayor Harold Washington? Do you call them colorless? What black leader, political leader, did this country be the threat? Well, I think politics has a way of accommodation. I don't think we have two political leaders in the sense of this is a possibility. Politics is about accommodation and compromise. When our black leaders go into politics, as was discussed recently in Harper's Magazine, blacks have to choose the whites that they will protect their interests first. That's why politics is not the type of game that we're going to continue to invest all our time in because it's proven that it doesn't work. Politics will not work white supremacy. But clear, accurate, documented challenges to white supremacy, as well as action, grassroots action, taking against the forces of white supremacy. What makes them dangerous? Well, 45 million people united in the U.S. would be very dangerous. What kind of things is dangerous? Well, you might think I'm talking about protesting or um, getting together and, uh, and rallying and that kind of stuff. Well, no, that's not the kind of danger I'm talking about. 45 million people united could do some serious damage to the financial market. Serious damage to the financial 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 So I'm asking with an accent, and when you had an accent back then, Africans, well, it wasn't many Africans in the record. It was mostly Jamaicans. So you had an accent, you automatically Jamaican. Right. <laughs> Africans, well, it wasn't that many Africans in the record. It was mostly Jamaicans. You have to be logical. If I know that in this hotel room they have food every day, and I'm knocking on the door every day to eat, and they tell me they open the door and let me see you throwing food around, but they tell me there's no food every day. I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in. We are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. After about a week, that song is going to change. But we hungry, we need some food. After two, three weeks, it's like, give me a little room, we're going to do it. After a year, we need just like, I'm picking the lock, coming through the door, blasting ash, 10 years ago. We was asking the parents. We was asking the vet, you know, the civil rights movement. We was asking, you know, now, now those people that were asking, they're all dead and in jail. So now, what do you think we're going to do? about uh, the revolution will not be televised. That was about the fact that the first change that takes place is in your mind. You have to change your mind before you change the way you live and the way you move. So when we said that the revolution will not be televised, we were saying that like the thing that's going to change people is something that no one will ever be able to capture on the film. It will just be something that you see and all of a sudden you realize, I'm on the wrong page, or I'm on the right page, but I'm on the wrong note. And I've got to get in sync with everyone else to understand what's happening in this country. country. To watch all of my exclusive content not featured here on my channel, log on to my website at I'm just here to make you think.com slash films. This entrepreneur brand logo was done by a top freelancer on Fiverr. It is simply wow. Those stylized brand guidelines that your designers can easily follow also um now this guy's website with his lavish content. Although it took four revision rounds to get the results he imagined, it's nothing less than a work of freelance brilliance. Then this designer's new fashion line, the hottest thing on every okay, that's bit much on many fashion blogs, thanks to Fiverr.com freelancers who managed and tracked Instagram feed. And last yeah, what but under no circumstances least, this Today's society of America, millions of people of all
Yo, yo, what up, what up? Yo, this Clubhouse app is all that. Yeah, and like, then we got into like a whole like spirituality talk, right? It was one of those groups where it went all over the place. And he sent like a private Clubhouse call me. It was like, yo, I looked at your art and like, I'm so surprised. Like, it's so good. And I was like, thanks. And he's like, trying to talk to me about it. And I was like, listen, like, honestly, like, like, I just, it's cool that you like it, but like, having a one-on-one -on -one call with me to like, tell me the compliments, like, that actually like, you know, follow the page, comment on the page. Like, I don't have, like, to just expect me to like, sit and listen to all your reactions to my art, like, it was given to you on a platform. And then he's like, well, what's your Bitcoin address? I want to send you Bitcoin. I'm like, you don't need to do that, like, at all. Like, I just, you know, I don't need anyone to do anything they don't want to do. But if you are so moved by it, you call me, then, like, support it publicly. Because that's, like, I'm rebuilding something. And unfortunately, like, people need to see other people engaging with it for it to be normalized. And I'm shadow by the spot, right? And then he's like, yeah. And then he was like, and I want to buy one on your variable, like, all this stuff, like, I'm going to comment, but, like, can I send you Bitcoin now? And I'm like, no, like, I don't even know how to do that. Like, just, like, all I want is for people to see my art, and if you want to support it, like, you know, all my links are in all my bios. And it's, like, the person, like, went, was, like, yeah, I understand, and then didn't do it, right? And it's, like, you went so out of your way to call me, and then I explained to you, and then you're like, I'm going to do all this and don't do it. It's like, don't waste my fucking time. Like, I don't need to explain my concept to you, you know? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's just a case of having someone have an ulterior motive, like, with, you know, if somebody's going to do something, they're going to do it. They don't really want to extract extra information. Right, but it's like, why do you want to, like, people? call me and have an hour conversation about it? Like, right? But... And then it's like, okay, I'm going to call you out, but you're going to continue to say stuff. And I don't even think it's an ulterior or motive thing. I think it's just like a selfishness thing. Oh, man. <laughs> man, I, oh, man. I just, <laughs> I just people, man. I just, I mean, yeah, with, with a few of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo guys, I, I just got home from work. Um, I'm in the studio about to work on some stuff right now. When I'm in the studio, I normally turn on my YouTube live. So if you guys want some uh, some visual stimulation, you don't have to really turn up the volume on the channel, but we can still, I'm gonna stay in the chat anyway, cause I'm trying to tell even my YouTube viewers about, uh, what's this app? Um, Clubhouse, oh yeah. Trap House Travis, it's, it's a Trap House. Uh, yeah, Trap House. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my nickname too, Trap House. But anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, it's just my government name. My name is Travis Prince. If you guys go on YouTube, um, anybody's more than welcome to come into my uh, YouTube stream. Oh, man, I appreciate that, 
I'm going to jump on the call real quick because i got to return somebody's call. So I'll probably check right out for a little and then jump back in. So if y'all still rocking, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm be back with the group. If not, I know, I know I'm going to catch y'all throughout the day in the clubs. Oh, yeah, you already know, bro. For sure, for sure. Alright, y'all stay up. Alright, Giraffe. Peace, what are What are you guys, uh, do you guys have a, a routine for creating art? Do you try to stay on the schedule or you just try to squeeze in uh, creation time whenever you have extra time? It's when I feel like it. I have to do it, like, when I'm in the mood. If not, it doesn't work. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> I'm full time artist, so, so you know, I basically Juice, like, what up, is, bro? You know, commission pieces and you know sell prints on my website and just like What Master P said about, about twelve hours? No, what'd he say, yo? Master P said he about to start making uh, cars, yo. When, you know, when it's my own shit, you know, I kinda just gotta be in the mood to do it. Um I think that yeah, that kinda falls with me as far as doing commissions too, like Sometimes, like, you know, I may have a commission on hand, you know, I may not be, you know, <laughs> in the mood to, to do it. I might work on some other shit, you know what I mean? I just think a lot of artists beat themselves up and they're not productive for a long time, you know what I mean? I think, you know, I think you learn a lot during the downtime, you know, uh, you know, especially during the uptimes, too. So, I, that's just me personally, like, you know, I'm not always in the mood to create, but Usually when I'm not creating, I'm always consuming content from somewhere that is going to change my mindset when I go back to the lab, if that, you know, if that, if that makes sense. Yep. Yep, facts, facts. I personally, like, have a schedule, but, like, I work, like, a normal job, so, yeah, and I'm, like, kind of starting out, so I'm just, like, yeah, I have to have a schedule just to, like, build, like, consistency and actually, like, get into the habit of doing it for, because I will literally spend, like, six months thinking about doing it, and then I'll do it, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's it, that's all I got. Yeah, I envy people with schedules, like, I, like, it's just so hard for me to create a schedule, like, and I know it would benefit me, like, you know, to the max, uh, I just feel like you operate better with a schedule. I feel like with... It's like when you run your own shit, like when you're like the manager or, you know, when you're running your own shit, you don't have anyone on top of you telling you what to do. You know what I mean? You kind of just got to be disciplined about that shit. Exactly. That's one of my flaws as far as, you know, scheduling. Like, I got like the ADD brain, like kind of like waking up and jumping between, you know, multiple projects. You know, I'm being productive, but, you know, maybe not as, as efficient as I, I would like to be with my time. I feel that ADD shit so hard. It's 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 so real. We just had a whole conversation about this shit like two hours ago. Like the ADD shit is real. Like I got yeah. Shit. Also, like everything that people like about me and everything that they hate about me, but like all of it's ADHD, right? Like we think so outside the box, and like I wouldn't trade that for anything. Every time when it makes my life a thousand times harder. Yeah, that's that's one thing for sure. Like, like the people who don't have ADHD or ADD, like sometimes don't understand. Like the people who do, like sometimes it takes just a lot of like the most minor tasks to complete, and it just takes so much <laughs> to do that. Like, you know. I feel that so hard, and it's like I have to be like doing multiple things to get one thing done. Yeah, that's the crazy part. That's exactly like I like sometimes like. You know, if I got a piece I'm working on, like, I can't necessarily, like, you know, wake up, like, all right, I gotta go, go to that piece, like, I gotta wake up, I gotta smoke, like, I gotta... Like, but also, like, that's never gonna work for you, so just don't try and make it work, right? Like, I've accepted that, like... Yeah, true. I mean, to an extent, like, 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 I'm, I'm medicated now, like, uh, I was out, so, like, I was, I was diagnosed with ADHD as a kid, like, my mom had me in the room for a while, it took me out. Uh, you know, 15 years later go by, you know, I started my art company, and, like, you know, I'm just kind of struggling with focusing and, you know, doing shit, so I'll go oh, back. Oh, especially during a pandemic, yeah, <laughs> I'm medicated, and it still, like, doesn't work anymore, but I'm the same thing, I've been diagnosed my whole life, one, I didn't even know what it meant until, like, literally TikTok, like, re-explained it for me, and two, like, it's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a 
struggle for sure. Uh, um, but like. I, I didn't know that, but you never told me what Master P said. <coughs> what the fuck did Master P say about uh, Clubhouse? I didn't know she was married to Miles Davis. He was a singer, right? Man, I'm gonna have to develop my own app, yo, then fuck all this shit, bro. <laughs> but this shit is, is a dope setup where you just, it's a big ass chat room. Yo, Juice, you got, you got, uh, Clubhouse, man? Join Clubhouse, man. Hit me up on there. We can chat. Until we, until we join, until we, uh, start our own app. I mean, you can invite friends, right? Uh, all you got to do is make an account and send me your account, and I'll send you my account. So mine, it's just, mine is just my regular name, Travis Prince, and, and mine is at, like, you got to make a profile name, and mine is Art Prince. Just Art and Prince, one word, Art Prince. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, you can <clears throat> if you can find me on there. I say, man, we need to uh, get everybody who comes into the uh, into the YouTube channel. We have a a weekly uh, clubhouse chat on Fridays, like Friday evenings or something. All of us can jump in there and chat on some shit. Man. Cause there's a lot of lot of dope people on there right now, and um. Plexion are still undergoing the effects of a variety of dominant social engineering experiments. 
which just so happens to play a prominent role among their everyday lives unknowingly. Not only that, there are in fact particular prominent groups of people that has set the mandatory rules and regulations that all American citizens must abide by. Yeah. Where's downstairs? Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah. <clears throat> oh well, I can't think then. <clears throat> Do I have a topic? <clears throat> a topic for a clubhouse chat on Fridays? Nah, nigga, it's random. Whatever y'all want to talk about. I ain't gonna be like, oh, today's top. Oh well, you know what? You know what? Having a topic might be the way to go. And, and that way we can keep the conversation concise and on point. But um, I don't mind freestyling either without a topic, you know, just whatever, whatever people got on their mind. So, my girl took my laptop downstairs, and it had my photo, you know, my photo reference in it. And so now she got to bring me my picture. Right there. I don't know he's a, a singer, right? Musician? From the 60s or something? I don't know. Okay. I was all wrong. I said a, a singer from the 60s. He is a trumpet player from the 40s. <laughs> it goes to show you how much fucking <clears throat> musical knowledge I got. So she did bring my picture back up. But she's coming up with some coffee. So <clears throat> you might just chat and drink coffee and smoke for a second. So I'm going to just do this real quick until she come back. To this very day. And when it specifically comes to the so-called African Americans, or rather the descendants of the copper-colored indigenous people who occupy all of the now American lands pre-colonial times, the experimental methodologies are deeply rooted, especially physically, mentally, by way of things such as industrialism, environmental racism, compulsory education, manipulative indoctrination, paper genocide, and eugenics. However, I would like for you to know that the freedom of having life is like a seed. It cannot grow on its own and become a plant unless the climate changes environmentally. Now, many of you can recall hearing the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I agree with it to a certain extent, because even though you may be doing great right now, you should always make room for improvements, or rather changes, because it's better to be prepared than repaired after the damage is already done. Which brings me to my very first point of this segment, and that is, why are people of color in America considered to be the biggest error throughout American society? Now, this question alone would be continuously answered throughout this video and my other correlating documentaries because of how much detailed information is critically important to note when answering this question. This era can be traced all the way back to the late 1700s and very early 1800s, 
at a time when white african and european colonizationalists or rather kidnappers were afraid of the threat of being murdered by the so-called coloreds or rather the indigenous people of north america due to the multiple indian raids rebellions documented and undocumented wars rapidly occurring during this time period this is also the very same time period where these kidnappers demanded that the negroes be removed from the lands of america and shipped away to newly established american colonized lands in africa along the coast multiple religious societies campaigned for this idea to become a reality especially the catholics and the Quakers, just to name a few. But the ball began to roll once John Lynch wrote a letter to the president. According to records held by the National Archives and a letter to then former president Thomas Jefferson, dated December 25th, 1810, John Lynch, who colonized lands he named after himself called Lynchburg, Virginia, made a descriptive proposition to Thomas Jefferson that called for the quote, colonization of the Ninger people on the coast of Africa so that a settlement can be established for immigrating the freed people of color out of North America and into Africa somewhere along the coast. In my documentary called African American Slaves in West Africa, History Books Are Lying, Part 2, I shared much detailed informative information in relation to what really happened in American history. I expose that we were all led to believe that our ancestors were stolen from parts of West Africa and then shipped to the Americas, when in reality, that information was told to us all in verse. Some of our ancestors were forcefully relocated from southern east lands of North America to lands west of the Mississippi River and also along the coast of Africa, and especially South and West Africa. I highly recommend that you watch that video, for it is critically important for the sake of our real documented history. Now, another side of this era would be allowing the people of color to think freely, being as though English was not our ancestors' original language to begin with, the early European African colonizationalists implemented manipulative methods to force their own traditions, language, and cultures, just to name a few, upon our ancestors mentally, which in turn rapidly obstructed our ancestors' well-being physically, systematically. This method was also purposely designed to document their liberty and critical thinking capabilities, along with killing the retaliation by fear-mongering, allowing for the social engineering format of eugenics to prevail from generation to generation, affecting only those who are forcefully under the spell of its digested forms of slavery, or rather oppression, under the mysterious provisions and racist ideologies of white supremacy. Calloway be hitting you with that shit, and he's I ain't gonna lie, yo, he the first person that I ever heard say the slave story was told in reverse. I ain't never heard nobody say that shit before him, yo. But then he started pulling up all these facts, documentations, and letters and shit. It's like, I think he got some validity to his argument. They, they called us the copper colored people. Like, copper, like my color skin almost. We're indigenous to this area, so. His argument is a lot of so-called African Americans are really indigenous Native Americans and we have more right to this country than almost anybody else. Just like the people <coughs> that we call the Native Americans. It, I know it looks light, but it's like that's good. it's not a dark roast. That's no, why the, the coffee is light and shit. I was looking at it when it was coming out. I mean, I've been drinking it all this time, but I just never look at it because I always put creamer in my cup first. So I'm looking at it when it came out, like, why the hell is this so damn light? But I forgot, like, it's not a dark roast. Mm -hmm. Alright. My 
That's what? That's what I think. Let me see the way. Back to smoking doobies, guys. I've been coughing too much lately. <clears throat> P said we need to make our own clubhouse. Real talk. I mean, who's who's the creator? Did you look it up? No, that what Juice Danger said. He was like, you heard what P said about clubhouse? I was like, nah. He was like, shit, man. P said black people need to make their own fucking clubhouse. Like, black Twitter, I guess. Yeah, Yo, like, black we, Twitter be popping. We use this shit. He said more black people on our fucking clubhouse than anybody else. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I've never been on black Twitter yet. Twitter's crazy though. Like Twitter got I don't like some Twitter. crazy much, yeah. stuff on it. I follow some people on Twitter, and I do get like some news info first from Twitter. Like some people be posting news shit. The best on stories first, I yeah. feel like come from Twitter. So I be on Twitter for like news and shit, but do I post on? I don't like post on Twitter and put shit up there. But I definitely follow some people out there for news, yo. But I only been on that fucking clubhouse for like. Two days? I already sent out my two invites. I'm trying to get some more. Damn right. And I already sent But you are not sent it to music people. I'm pretty sure Pierre is already on there. So I sent it to my friend Stevie that's in Chicago. He's a rapper. And then I sent it to Menace. That's the two people I sent it to because I wanted to get some people invited. And they both signed up. Yeah. I didn't even say anything. I just sent the link and was like, whoop. Hey, fucking rooms in there be popping yeah the if rooms you, be popping and if you're an artist there's definitely like a lot of room to grow but like for the music artist just like everything a lot of motherfuckers rap so it's like way more people in the music tip i was like damn like i just want to play some music like i said if you guys if you guys uh download the clubhouse app I think on Fridays we can do an hour uh, group chat in here for art and education with uh, with uh, the Prince and co-host Princess Egypt Divine, mm -hmm. and that way we can actually hear you guys' voices and you you won't have to type as much, and we'll keep it to an hour session so it's not as long as much as we sit in here and stream. But uh, just something to think about if you guys would be interested in that, doing like a, a Friday stream with us or a, a Friday uh, group chat in um, Clubhouse just to talk about whatever comes up. Mm. Boy, it's so cold up in here right now. It was like when I left out this morning, it was 19 degrees, yo. It was freezing. It was cold. It would have been cold as fuck all day. And then my homie hit me up for lunch. Early as shit. Well, I was like, 10.30. He like, oh, I'm at the diner. I'm like, bruh, you got to give me a minute, yo. I had to do, I did a, I did a mock interview this morning with a new client, yo. He did really good. I had to help him on, like, something because he just talked too fucking much. But I think he, um, I think he did a good job. And I think I did a good job, too, because he is like... Is there any way I can just come and talk to you? I'm like, yeah, because I, I do. It's it's not counseling per se, but I I do um, a program that's called Men's Group, and it's for uh, guys getting out of prison, trying to transition back into normal everyday civilian life, you know, and have their freedom back. And some guys just need guys to talk to. But new people, not the old people they used to fuck with, and the druggies and the drinkers and everybody they used to fuck with before they were incarcerated. So once you once you're out of incarceration and you're trying to start over, you need like a new group of people to talk to. And my job actually offers a setting like that, you know, uh, a safe environment for for uh, ex convicts to, you know, talk and get shit off their chest and shoot the shit and chew the fat, basically. There's somebody who actually looks like them that's not exactly. a middle-aged white woman. And I done, I done been in there too, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that the, that the guy, um, the lady who runs our program, uh, she, she's been incarcerated. And she had to do uh, 
uh, AA, and she's like 21 years sober. So people, we know what the fuck we're talking about because we've been there. And he's looking at us trying to explain so much. And it's like, Jay was like, I've been incarcerated. I was like, shit, I've been behind bars. You know, so I get you, bro. <clears throat> you know, and so he was like, oh, when can I come back and talk to you? So he said he'll, he'll be there Wednesday morning at 8.45 to sit down and have a, a men's group session. So this is what took me a long time to, to find this job. But like, a job where like I'm I'm really helping people yo. that's like the, the best thing about my job you know like my job is super lenient and but at the same time like I, I really like try to make a positive impact on on people's lives yo. and that's all people need sometimes you're just somebody to fucking talk to and listen to the dude got an acid problem yo. motherfuckers locked up for 11 years you know what I'm saying he can't hardly surf the internet or nothing <clears throat> lost all that fucking time, you know? Yo, cash. Yo, 11 years behind bars, like, so much shit changed, yo. I know it's so funny when somebody who, like, is locked up and they're like, how can I hear your music? And I'm like, when you come home, yeah. you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> just, can you make me a CD? Um, uh, do we still do that? You could just use my link. Yo, yeah. link, what's a link? <laughs> I'm saying, you know, he lose so much time in there, but I think he's gonna, he, he'll be all right if um, we're just looking for a job for him. He got a bunch of certificates, he did a bunch of classes, he had a lot of time in there, so he did a pass of classes, like, he, he know a lot of shit, but ain't nobody, it's gonna be hard for him to get hired with his record, that's all, that's the mm-hmm. bottom line, it's just gonna be hard for him to get hired. Can he go get a CDLs? I feel like he that's one of the is, one things that you can so do. He is so determined on helping people. Yo. He wants to be <clears throat> a part of the system, helping people and preventing people from being like him. And mm-hmm. so he really, that's really, and he has his you heart. Start fucking, and that's what we're trying to tell him. Like, if you want to get into, uh, it's a CS uh, counseling specialist or something like that. He wants to be like, dude, you're not going to find a job immediately. You need to try to volunteer somewhere first. Volunteer, build rapport, build relationships, and show people that you're you're capable and you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to uh, build a reputation for yourself and get people to trust you. And so we're trying to get them somewhere to volunteer first. But now, I don't know. I don't, it, it kind of seems like, um, like he was a little deflated. And he's like, oh, dude, just calm down. I mean, yeah, I, I hate to say it, but beggars can't be choosy. Yeah. Gotta start somewhere. So if they want you to mop some floors, bro, go mop them floors. At least you ain't got to deal with the public. Like, no, we're not, and we're not trying to get them, like, jobs like that, but. Like if you if you want to have services where you help uh, people with addiction problems, and you're in a counseling position where you need to volunteer and see if a drug addiction counselor needs someone to help uh, set up meetings, uh, pass out papers, mm-hmm. explain instructions or something like that, and volunteer in that capacity first, and then maybe someone. Would, Thank you. How are you on? Yeah, you know. What? You want to um go in the music clubhouse real quick and see? No? Oh, no or put something on YouTube? Is that you need a foot massage? No, I don't I mean, like, normally, like, if you have a Charlie horse, they say to stand on your tippy toes. Or, like, not a Charlie horse, but, like, a crank. Are you trying to brag that you can stand on your tippy toes? Well, no. I just, I'm, I am trying to brag, but not because I can stand on my tippy toes. Just because I learned that in massage school and I felt a little bit smart. Mm-hmm. So, because I, I never knew that before I got in school. Like, obviously, you want to stretch the muscle out, but you don't ever think when you got a Charlie horse to stand on your tippy toes because the shit hurts so bad, you just trying to get off your foot. Yeah. So, normally, if you stand on it and you, like, extend your leg, it'll work the crap out, but that shit is just not doing it right now. Let's see. Um, <coughs> this group was pretty good earlier. Yes. 
They're not playing the game right now. So this is how it looks. Like, oh, you probably can't yes. even see it. Yeah, no, you can't. Thank you. Still can't. You gotta do it at an angle. Yeah. So it's just like a feed, and as you swipe, you can click whatever group, and then your group that you're in is at the bottom. <laughs> and then, you know, you just see everybody's little profile. You know, we're all interacting. I have myself on mute. But then if, like, the person that's speaking, I could go click on their profile if I wanted to and, like, see more about them. Can you... I know that some, some things won't work if you put it on the speaker, but can you connect yourself to the speaker and hear louder than just using your phone speaker? Have you tried that yet? Uh, I'm not sure. Yo, D1, what up, bro? I mean, we don't have to be in this right now, you know, I'll leave that, but just so y'all could get the, the gist, but it is invite only, so. Yeah, like, and my friend told us about it just a couple days ago, and she was like, she hyped it so good, she was like, no, you gotta download it now, <laughs> and so like, yeah. we both downloaded and then she kind of sat in between us and gave us a, like a tutorial yeah, she and was... walked us through the whole thing and you do this and you do that and then you wave your hand and you do this and it's how you leave the group and then like <clears throat> I got in one art group and I don't know I made a few comments and it was like some really insightful introspective intellectual conversation about art and we the more seasoned artists were <laughs> asking more. Uh, the more seasoned artists were asking, the younger artists were asking more seasoned artists questions on, you know, how do I really get noticed? How do I get recognized? Is galleries still the way to go or should I do everything online? And I don't know, I, I said a few things and I don't know, people were really receptive and responsive. And I started following people who were making like really, really good points and um, giving out really good information. And then today is like one guy who was in that larger group chat, he started a smaller group chat and just invited me in there. And he was like, dude, you're a hidden gem, bro. Like your work is crazy. Sooner or later, people are gonna see this. And he, he asked some really good questions on like, what is your life goal for your art? You know what I'm saying? And it was like just six or seven of us in there and talking about life goals for our art. And that shit was fucking cool. It's called Clubhouse. Clubhouse. And it's it's just a chat room, just like PlayStation chat. How we can, if we set up a chat room, and I think on PlayStation you can get up to 16 people in one chat. And Clubhouse, is that's all it is. It's a chat app. And you can set up groups. And But the only thing I see about... Uh, Uh, oh, it's only on Apple? Is it? I don't know. Hmm. And I just got a notification just I now. I mean, the person who sent me had an iPhone, and the people I invited had iPhones, so I can't really... The Psychedelic News Hour. <clears throat> And this guy, he was in the art chat. I think I... He followed me. I, I was following him. Well, maybe he didn't follow me. That other guy with the hat followed me. But he's... He's an artist. A photographer. Yeah. Well, that sucks. What? They don't have a version for the Android yet. Oh, damn. Yeah, it is kind of new. <coughs> it's, <coughs> apparently, it's a few months old. <clears throat> so, it's not... It's not new new but just in a few months some people already have like thousands of followers on this shit and then depending on what categories you say you're interested <laughs> in like i'm kind of interested in psychedelic type <laughs> shit and so it just popped up like hey here's a group chat that has a key word that you're interested in and you can join in and it's just regular people just like us talking about shit 
You know what I'm saying? Did you feel that? And you looked at me, and I was like, oh. It's like, um, it's like a podcast for everybody. And then, like, even when I listen to Joe Rogan, I love his podcast. And sometimes I'd be like, damn, I wish I could say something. And this is it. Like, it's a podcast with some really smart people, some not so smart people. But if you feel like saying something, you can, like, jump in. It's, it's talk radio for everybody. Yeah, just because I feel like it's weird. Yeah. We're going to be like the. So your artwork needs to be good enough to capture their attention. And make them click on your profile, and your profile needs to be well enough curated. Let me go, go to actually make them click on them. This dude ain't never touched me back about the. Oh, I do that actually. Oh, that's what I'm starting to say. You could be running all the time. He was online 31 minutes ago and still never replied to that shit, though. Okay. So, we found the singer, thanks to Vicky. She's located in Wilkes Barre University, student name. What did they think about you? What did they think about you? What did they think about you? Like me. Oh, I thought you were going to try to do it. I thought you was going to go ice JJ fish real quick. Okay. That's a hard note, though, man. I can't eat that shit. I could, but I ain't do my warm up. I need some lemon juice and my <clears throat> the acoustics in the room. I got the voice of an angel. that's like. You know, you can when? Really what? Say, when you sound? Like, and if the music is real loud like and I'm in the shower with the water running. Singing with you. Yeah, oh, yeah, I sound, I sound good. So, yeah. right, that's a lot of white canvas, just if it has a beautiful story behind it. Like, there's so many different aspects that can allow your art to sell. So, it's like, it's like your own journey. Well, you I made a list of our options, actually. Because, you know, there, you know that's when you ain't shit open. Move forward as an artist, so I think is why. Make sure you also turn on the Instagram, TikTok. Yo, they flooding the market right now. Like I see people saying, "Don't invest." And then I keep seeing like people say, "Like no, don't listen to that. We supposed to invest." Yeah, this is they're, they're squeezing out the big companies, yo. Somebody didn't figure it out. Like how these big company take short stocks and make add some money off of it. So if you can find yeah, these companies with short stuff stocks, like they're they got their eleven year old kids mm -hmm. doing that shit, and I'm like, yo, what's my what's my dirty or small? Um, so this is what's open: Coopers, the Bounty Box, Istanbul. Girl, that's all in. Miller's Ale House, Mission Barbecue, that's Red, all Red Lobster. I'm going and it's not all in Scranton. Miller's Air House is right here. Mission Barbecue, Texas Row House, Red Lobster. That's all right here. Welcome to another episode of Electric City Television's Roundtable Discussions. I'm your host, Travis Prince. And today, my guest is Nikki Moser. Hey, Nikki, I'm happy to have Yo, you on the show. You said I got the boot. <laughs> so, I said the boot uh, on. You're really uh, well known in Scranton, but for the people who don't know you, uh, I'd like for my oh, guests to yeah. get a little bit of information yeah. and background. So just kind of yeah, yeah. fill us in on okay. on who you are, how long you've been in the area, yeah. and what kind of yeah. art you normally work with. I've never been out um, well, I'm one of those in and out of the areas. I grew up in Honesdale, so I'm sort of a local girl. And then I left to live in New York City for a long time, and then I ended up back here. Um, and I think materials are really maybe the place where... Um, I really love art places late. that I work in a range of different materials and often the idea defines the material or decides the material for me. And then I have to learn how to use it. So that's always fun and challenging. Okay, um, well, I have a list of questions. I haven't even watched the whole episode myself, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. And that was really exciting. And now my education career seems to be um, in limbo. Right. First of all, in the middle of the pandemic. Um, Right, you looking at the tondo and it's like, yo, this is a fucking, oh my God, yo, she's just like, yeah, that's why I fuck with Nikki, yo, she the one who taught me how to pour iron, yo, like, <clears throat> yo, Nikki taught me how to do this shit, yo, she's the fucking, she's the real deal, yo, she's like a true creator, she is, She's legit, yo. I'll pour me some iron. 
and her husband is like one of the top artists in the fucking state. Like I say, this is so crazy, yo. Like I hang out with her and her husband. Last year for that statewide art show, me, her, and her husband made it into the show. It was, it was, yo, the competition was so steep. You know what I'm saying? How can a couple, like, their art is so good, both of them made it into there. And it's like, all three of us just chill together, but we made it into, like, the biggest art contest in the state, yo. I said, I know some dope-ass fucking artists, yo. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and then her husband, uh, he won first place and um in the drawing section because he, he he does um color pencil drawings realistic bro his shit's so crazy this shit crazy two years in a row he won first place in drawing contest i know some high caliber artists yo i'm telling you motherfuckers high caliber and it was just like an honor for me to be like in that shit like the first time I submit art and I got accepted into that shit I was like yo this was up yo kind of like I'm balling with the bit dogs now <laughs> you know what I'm saying but the crazy thing is man she just moved away yo she was, her and her husband used to live literally like like 15 minutes from me I said I've been in the house a couple times just so they chilling drinking and shit having dinner but now they move to Maine or some way, man. She's like, yo, it's a nine hour drive. I'm like, God damn. Where? You moving nine hours away? She was like, it is what it is, yo. I'm like, fuck, man. So I told them we got to hang out at least one more time before they fucking leave the state, man. You can't hang with chickens if you expect to soil with eagles, nigga. <laughs> it don't work that way. Yeah, hang with them chickens. Yeah, that's crazy. Can't believe they're moving though. Damn. But hey, it's for the it's for the it's for uh <clears throat> For they uh, betterment. On to bigger and better things. It's like, <coughs> oh, you know, you got to come, <coughs> you know, you got to come and visit. Oh, I'm gonna come visit, most definitely. But um, I ain't driving. I gotta wait. <coughs> God, <coughs> God damn, that no name is kicking my ass right now. I gotta wait till uh this COVID ease up a little bit. I'm flying. I can't I, nine hour drives, but I don't. I oh shit. I don't like driving that much, bro. I swear I don't. Two two and a half hours. Three hours? Yo, that's about as far as I can do, man. What, where are we going? How far? Four hours. Oh, I need somebody to help me drive. <laughs> I can't, I can't drive four hours, man. God damn. When I was younger, maybe. It's just something about sitting in the car for so long now, man. God damn. I can't hardly do that shit no more. My knees start hurting. My back gets stiff. I got to pee a lot. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let me go to the bathroom. I can't be, I can't be driving nine hours. Fuck that. All right. So what we need to do is. <clears throat> Yo, D1. Why you in here? You know, matter of fact. I worked on this for a little minute. But I think I want to. Start this underpainting. 
Let's see if I can get some paint on your canvas. Ugh. All right. Um. Well, damn. Mm -hmm. You went from the white to the black. From the white to the black. But I can't pick which pair of pants I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear these. Or I'm going to wear these because of the blue hair. Sure. Look like the ones you got on. Alright, let me just show you the oh, arm. That's real quick. Let's see what you're working with, little mama. I was about to put a dress on and I was like, girl, uh -oh. <laughs> let's go. So, yeah, we're going to go black and casual. Yo, black is like the best color. Like, not even just not being funny. This shit go with everything. You never go wrong with black nails, black shoes, a black purse. Can't go wrong with that shit. I mean, they're kind of almost the same. These ones are a little bit more. I don't know. These, they're almost the same, not for that. Yeah. You see what I mean? I don't know. I like the little studs on those. Yeah. yeah. I know. That's why I can't decide. <laughs> guys after work stream y'all know i gotta really put this time in real quick let me put some let me put some paint on this can damn i should have time lapse this shit bro that camera angle because this gonna be in y'all way but hey it is what it is my nigga you heard you say you late I've been seeing that Oh my god. Hold on guys. What if I or I could even like put it right on the easel itself. Can I can I do that? I could probably check this shit out, man. Oh shit. Or right, if I sh should I put it on the back side? Like this way. 
So I do it like that. Damn, I'm thinking all kind of shit now. I could I hang it down? Oh my damn, what if I... That might be too wide right there though. Let's see. Y'all shut up. I'm, it take me a minute. I'm coming. I'll be right back. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Ooh, snap! My, can I hold my phone like that though? What if it? What if it break? The damn thing. All right. But that really, like, is that gonna be in the? Nah. Y'all be alright, right? Y'all ain't gonna be mad at me, is it? This is a this is a pretty good shot like this though. Ooh, dang. But now is that in my is that in my way? Kinda like ugh. I don't know. I'ma knock my head on that shit. That's so weird looking right now. <coughs> But yo, from from this camera point of view, like this is like the best. I might have to do it like that, guys. It just looks so good on that from that angle with the phone. All right. So yeah, let's. Uh, but if I put you guys closer, it may you may be able to peek around that and not actually have to look at it. What do you say? A little bit closer. Oh, that's too close to the damn. See, oh, see, oh shit, that ain't too bad. Everybody got a decent view, right? We all good. All right. <clears throat> can I see? Can y'all see? Can the can the phone see? Everybody got eyes on. I'm about to go ahead and do this. Oh shit. Everybody got eyes on. All right, let's uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do this.
It don't just go to the next song. What the heck, yeah? See you in the city, looking all pretty, but I pretend you don't exist. See you in the city, looking all pretty, but I pretend you don't exist. The lead your number, tell me what you had it back on. The lead your number, baby. The lead your number, but it don't matter. I know it by heart. Promise I wasn't going down this road again, but I'm gassed up and I'm back in the car. Couldn't see the impact from far. Now I'm sitting here. I've been dealt, I've been independent, you care by myself, but who am I kidding, it's over submission, I get some digits, but you all up in it, taking it slow, that's my spot, grabbing my hand and you're pulling me back, right in the fire, I'm on the edge, please do not push me, back in the bed, trying to relax, I'm trying to relax, just want the facts, I think I need that, be copacetic, know where it's headed, take your direction and notice affection, notice acceptance and notice these blessings, notice I'm focused, your focus is stressing, my love is a lotus, I'm Made of mimosas, we drink to be toasted Shutting me out, to give me closure Backs on my shoulders, running from voters Baby, just hold up, lately I'm thrown off Hate the aroma, you run or you own it Makes you get cloning, Asian, I know it Glow in the soul, the bless my stones Fragile and broken and made of new bones I think that you know it, I think that it's showing The overflowing, you hate it the most The gates are closed, the gates are gates Be cool, but said it, no it's heaven Pick your direction and notice affection. Notice acceptance and notice these blessings. Notice the focus, your focus is stressing. Pick up a steady, know where it's headed. Pick your direction and notice affection. Notice acceptance and notice these blessings. I'm loving you as I was in love with me. 
Everything has to die in you and me In the end, my heart was the casualty So excuse me not at this so casually So me dream and I bought it Seem nice at the time First fell in love with your body And then with your mind Couldn't fight the funk I was still fine What is it I'm feeling? Cause it can't be love Love, love What is it I'm feeling? Cause it can't be love No, no For numb, for more like pins and needles Stomach in my feet, I can't control my breathing No food, just smoke, in my bed hours Having dreams and visions, clairvoyant intuition Crystal painted picture, but my iris sees roses Cause it looks better Shit covered in daisies Well, I guess at least it smells better Yeah But there's a slight extension, I can't ignore the whiff I went nose blind, look what that odor did I know the truth is still up and over it You were pleading with me ever so adamant I'm afraid I have to turn this bad habit in Cause my heart is no longer inhabited We'll meet up for the fall like a car again I promise somehow that we'll meet again Always have my heart, always have a friend Always have a part, always look within But if you want my love, I can get with that And if you want my love, you can get it back Oh. Hey. Don't wanna 
I'll back it up in a second, bro. Don't be in a rush to be old. Have your youth and bask in it. You'll have all the time in the world to sit back laughing. Remember this. Saw the glass at full. Baby, now I'm prospering. I can only preach the gospel. The real change lies within. Practice not resisting. You want to see what happens if I pull the camera back, bro? Lessening the anguish. Raising up your tolerance. Put you in the game. You the MVP of all this shit. There you go. I pull the camera back for you. Brown eyes and some melanin Blossom for the fun of it Hit home runs you barely miss You're equipped to pass the test Never kiss nobody's ass Took the bags and all the trash Invested in a treasure chest Best believe that mind is trapped Books galore, studying From hospitals to stadiums Cause you only play to win Offices and yoga gyms Restaurants or dealerships You just took the elevator It's my girlfriend because it's just one of my favorite songs. This is another one of my favorite songs. Once again, once again, not just because it's my girlfriend, because it's just a good ass fucking song, you know? Gotcha. Go and blow that. Go and blow that. Whoa, whoa. Go and blow that. Whoa, whoa. Blow that dough, When they call me a stoner, I'm such a loner. I, 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 Another cup, seven, another thirty sound. Same voice, same girl, push, change, change, change. You, you, you remind me of the guns, the baby. And it drives me crazy. Yes, the yeah, fire, yeah, fire, yeah, 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 yeah,
Me up, your girl don't like this thing. I just, I just put paint on it, man. Stop playing. Tell her to wait until it's done. Ooh. Fire! What I'm painting, y'all? That fire! What I do? Oh, oh, oh! That fire! And it what takes me higher? Fire! What you mean you ain't blind it? Whole section got a blind it. Blind team to the function. Still gonna need a compass. Say no, my name is. Spin talk what I'm swinging. Man, they ain't from Houston. Says they what she used to. Fucked up in a Uber. In a man seat booed up. I still my Cuban. She don't fuck with these losers. She don't care with no ooh ooh. Michael Phelps in that ooh ooh. She don't fuck with these dudes. Can I come back with you? Fire, hey, hey, fire. Y'all getting tired of me singing over the song? I, 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 I really don't care. That fire, that fire, hey, hey. Fire, fire, fire. fire. That fire. That fire takes me higher. Ganja, blow that, going, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, ganja, blow that, going, whoa, whoa. Blow that. Music. Don't get no play over this shit, boy. You don't get no play over here, I keep forgetting which one of these things I listen to my cousin music on. Uh, 
just go here. Oh, uh, it's on Spotify. All right, let's do, I guess this. <laughs> Bob Ross will be proud. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Yo, so uh, the last music we were listening to was my girlfriend. Uh, this is my cousin right here. Yeah, yeah. And a nail surprise. Trying to wake me up. Gotta get my vibe. Trying to wake me up. Trying to get my vibe on. Niggas gon' eat when I eat. I'm from the village, ain't nothing to me. I'm feeling faded, a little intoxicated. Yeah, yeah, and a little intoxicated. 
first paint set I ever bought yo a Bob Ross starter paint set I still got my Bob Ross uh palette knife from that shit yo Saturate my mind. Oh, it's saturate my mind. Yeah, yeah. I know they say sometimes they hear me. Girl, we do this every time. Oh, yeah. I know they gotta get out of here. They ain't not coming back no more. Every time, oh yeah. I know I gotta get out of here. I am not 
coming back no more. What time is it? What time is it? 
Sì. I can't be the one to be with you. You know that the throne's for the prince. Space and shit, but I hear her writing. I heard a little bit of some shit she was writing, but she keep coming up with that flame. I'm telling y'all. I'm gonna be a stay-at-home husband. Watch. I'm just sit around and paint. Oh my girl, make that moolah. And I sell, I sell these. These masterpieces. These niggas be cap. Oh my, these niggas be cap. I keep that green on me like soldier. Uh, oh shit. When I was at Applebee's serving them tables. Now nigga can't tell me I can't get to this paper. Oh. Your aunt? Oh that's what's up. Alright, I think I'm going to try to get to a stopping point. Um, so this is a... I'm working on an underpainting for a commission for a good friend of mine. Um, he has a picture of him as a teenager with the late, great uh, Cassius Clay, a.k.a. Muhammad Ali. The prettiest man that ever threw a punch. And so... Um, for the next day or so, I'll try to work on this underpainting, and then we're going to square away um, another commission that I've been working on and see how far we can get on that one this weekend as well. So kind of busy with commissions this weekend, um, but I have been invited to do a show this spring at our local uh, college campus. And so I definitely want to um, finish up a couple of my own personal pieces so I can have 
like some really cool new stuff to show to the uh, college kids. So just got to stay, stay diligent in the studio, man. Stay, stay productive. Get this workout. Get, get, get this workout, name boy. All right, all right, all right. All right, me and my girl haven't been out for a while because COVID and a bunch of shit is shut down. But we're gonna try to do a date night tonight on a Friday. Ain't that so? Ain't that some shit? So nice and sweet Friday date night. I think she said Red Lobster is open. All right, I think I'm gonna stop this video right there. And that was a nice uh, time lapse. That didn't turn out too bad. No, nice. Uh, Texas? No, no, no. I'm in Pennsylvania. Oh, the Keystone State, the first capital of the nation, uh, where the Declaration of Independence was signed. You know, Pennsylvania, named after William Penn. All right, so, um, oh, shit, I forgot that was there that fast. All right, uh, yo, everybody, welcome to the stream, appreciate everybody jumping in. This is an after work stream, even though it is the weekend. <laughs> I did go to work today, so even after work, I tried to, like, stream for an hour or so. Um, we did have a little chat in the beginning, but, um... So yeah, to show you what I'm currently working on, this is a commission piece. It's like I said, it's an old photo of my homie and Ali. And so, I'm just working on getting the underpainting built in, trying to block this in, and um, work my way through that. I also have another commission that I'm working on currently from. Uh, I don't actually know how the person contacted me. I think they came through Facebook. All right, so yeah, this is the other commission I'm working on. And so these, these aren't the best of photos, but I'm I'm trying because people really want some art and they really uh, this guy right here recently passed away and a family member wants to have a, a portrait paint, painted of him. And for for a long time, I would turn down poor quality photographs. But lately, I've been trying to work with them more and um, because it takes a little a little more finesse to you know mentally edit the photograph to try to pull out some more details it's a, a bit of a struggle so uh but it's all good you know as i want as many people as possible to own my art and um you know so i think i just started accepting stuff because like my man d1 got this picture this picture is 172 years old and it got a scratch on it, and but hey, we gonna work with this thing, man. And like I say, because I want everybody to own some art. And my man, he's been supporting me for so long, and so he actually ordered this piece. It is a cool picture. 
and but like I say, it's, it's the only picture he, he has, and it's it is an old photograph, so the the resolution isn't there, the details really aren't there, but you know, just kind of mentally edit it a little bit and see if we can bring it out. So those are my two current uh, commission projects. I have um, several other projects I'm working on. Uh, this piece is just the underpainting. Uh, that's a little more than the underpainting. I started working on a second layer on that right before I, I got hired to do these pieces. And uh, these two pieces with the feet are still just underpaintings. So I have those to work on, and my most pieces that I completed are uh, for my reader series. I got a couple of pieces for that done recently, and um, I finished these two pieces recently. And these these were um, community pieces from my YouTube uh, viewers. I asked uh, pop quiz questions for an art challenge. If you answered the question correctly, I allowed you to write whatever you want on the background. And so whoever participated and answered questions correctly, they have different sayings and phrases. And there's a, a MF Doom mask on there. Somebody was like, yo, put a Doom mask. And you answered the question correctly, so you get to put what you want on there. So these pieces are, are pretty unique uh, for, for me. I really enjoy them. I just like looking at these Jones, yeah. And, um, <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I do have another commission that I recently finished. I've just been letting it dry before, so I can ship it out. So I recently finished this one. And it's still pulling paint. Yo! Yo, it's still pulling paint a little bit. Jesus Christ. Right there. Damn. Yep, right there. Look at that. Oh, it's just like that one little spot, too. Um, I can try to cheat a little bit. I need damn near a brand new brush for this. If you try to cheat and uh, thin, the, thin the paint out, sometimes it could get discolored. So you really shouldn't do that. But it's only like a few patches on right here. And sometimes if you like just fondle the wet patch a little bit because <laughs> I don't know I don't know why that one patch right there is just still so wet so I'm just trying to smooth this paint out maybe I just applied it too thick so I'm just using a dry brush here and sometimes it is what it is with oil paints because oil paints don't actually dry they harden because uh there's no water in oil paints, so there's really nothing to dry. You know, you're not you're not drying water out of or anything. It's just the curation process of the of the oils getting hard. But if it's kind of layered thick, it will take longer to cure or dry, which easier way to understand it. But um, we'll see. That's a good little bit of paint that came off of there too. So maybe maybe next weekend I can ship this off to the client. She's really patient, and I, I told her, like, some colors just take a little bit longer to dry than others. But this piece came out really nice. This was actually two photographs. Um, she said her grandmother passed away the same day she found out she was pregnant. And her grandmother was, a, like, a pillar in her life. She was, like, that lady for her. And, she, you know, she found it very upsetting that her, her grandmother would never 
actually see her grand her great granddaughter and hold her in in life and so she asked if I could create this image where it looks like the two of them have have met in person and, and grandma had the experience of grandbaby so she sent me tons of reference sources and some really good ones and um, so I combined a couple of pictures and and kind of made a little bit of it up and it turned out pretty good and so um just like I said, I'm just waiting for this piece to dry so I can ship it off because it's, it's already paid for and everything. It turned out nice though. I like it. And like I say, the under un, underpaintings just look rough and they're not supposed to be pretty. It's just your foundation layer, but layer by layer, you'll just take your time and be patient. You can create a pretty decent painting. All right. <laughs> set that back there. Continue working on this one until I get, I'll get the underpainting done on this piece and then I'll finish this piece completely and then after I finish this piece then I'll come back and, and finish this commission. This is almost done. A little more detail on his shirt. Got to uh, fill in the rest of his shirt with the detailing. Uh, add some detailing and highlights to his hair and then go back and, and embellish some of the details around the eyes and um, add like a little lens glare to the lenses on the glasses. So it's not a lot to work with and I'll probably go over the background again as well. So this piece is all, and this client is, is pretty patient as well. So, and plus I tell all, all my clients like, I, you gotta give me at least a month to finish a painting. Like this, the turnaround time isn't like a week or something like that. You would buy a Patrick Mahomes painting. Uh, I don't know who Patrick Mahomes is, but if you uh, if you're serious about getting a commission done, all you have to do is reach out on um, a social media platform. I'm really active on Facebook and Instagram, but all of my links are paintings by the Prince. So, yeah, if you can find me anywhere like that, um, paintings by the prince, send me a message, football player, great. Yeah, get a, get a picture of him, whatever your, your most favorite image of that guy is, then send it to me and let me know what size canvas you want it on and I'll give you a price. And if you agree to the price, I'll start on the commission for you as well. I have I have yet to paint a sports figure. Um, 
I don't I don't normally paint athletes or um, like actors or pop stars or anything like that in my own personal art. My my art is kind of like average everyday people. Um, and so yeah, I don't really paint like famous people. So a football player that'd be something new for me. That'd be a first for me to uh, paint a, a pro athlete. And a friend of mine told me that like years ago, like, man, you want to make money, you got to paint uh, stars. And I'm like, I don't want to make money that bad because I'm not going to, I don't watch sports. And I don't idolize movie stars. So. Yo, Red, Red Fox was the man, yo. But then again, like how many paintings and drawings and images of Red Fox have people done? You know, that's why I can't find the originality in painting uh, cultural icons and pop stars and shit like that because their images are out there a thousand million times. I'd rather paint a picture of somebody that nobody has ever seen before, nobody really knows of, but still has this aura about them, this, you know, quality about them, because everybody's special, but, um, I'm going to get out of here and get ready to go out for the talk. Yeah, I appreciate everybody coming into the stream, kicking it and chilling with me for a little while, checking out the progress on these portraits, listening to some dope ass music from some artists that I know personally. Oh, oh shit. Uh, if this is your first time in the stream, I definitely really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking it out. Uh, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. I stream pretty regularly um, in the evenings during the week, uh, early in the mornings on the weekends. So, um, yeah, you can catch me here a lot. And like I said, I got tons of shit to work on, so it ain't like I'm running out of stuff to do. Uh, we got, we got, we got shit to do. So, with that being said, I hope everybody has a very good evening, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.